My name is Quinn Bradley. I'm the founder of Friends of Quinn, a social network for young adults with learning differences, as I call them. I don't call them learning disabilities. They're not disabled, they just learn differently. I found a company called National Center of Learning Disabilities, and I emailed them, and at the same time, they just so happened to email me. And they basically said that this is amazing what you're doing, this is exactly what you're looking for. And I sent them basically the same type of email and it was a match made in heaven. I come from a journalism background as my parents uh, were journalists. My mother was more of an interviewer uh, than my father, but I guess it was inevitable for me to go into the interviewing world. And I love it. I never thought I'd really be good at it, but I'm a lot better at it than um, I thought I'd be. How do you deal with interviewing someone that you're like, admire a lot, but you don't but you're like nervous at the same time. Like, what do you do to like kind of calm yourself? We're about to interview some like pretty important people and I, I admire them a lot, so <laughs> it's a little bit nerve wracking. My most nerve wracking interview was probably Steven Spielberg. It's funny, he's actually known me since I was kind of little. So I didn't think it would be that big of a deal, um, but I mean, it's freaking Steven Spielberg. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't matter how long they've known you, it's just his name. I just tried to, you know, just calm down and not interrupt him. And cause I just, you know, when you're interviewing him, you really can get lost and you just want to talk to the guy because it's Steven Spielberg right there and you just want to ask him questions. But one of the best things to do is just learn from your other interviews by watching yourself. And a lot of people hate watching themselves because they know they're going to mess up. But it's basically you're giving yourself criticism when you watch yourself. And that's the best thing that you can do. What was your favorite interview and why? It's kind of like choosing which kid you like the best. You can't really do it. I mean, I love all of them because all of them are different. I mean, if everybody was the same, it'd, it'd be boring. So I'm going to be really frank with you guys right now and saying that I can't answer that question because everybody is different. Everybody has a different point of view. Everybody learns differently. And dyslexics learn differently than other people, but dyslexics learn differently within their own realm, if you will. So it, you just can't really say which is your favorite interview. Has your dyslexia ever affected any of your interview style? Like, have you ever like had to change the way you do an interview because of your dyslexia and ADHD? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it has. I think one of the things I do is I try to memorize uh, all the questions. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll try to write them down and then write down the answers, which is actually one of the ways how I uh, graduated from high school. <laughs> because <laughs> when I was studying, I had a hard time remembering the questions. So I'd basically rewrite the whole test, you know, rewrite the whole answer, the whole questions. And it seems like a lot of extra work, but that's one thing that we all do best at is doing extra work. Because of that, I actually ended up getting the Mathematics Award, wow. which I never saw coming, That's ever. That's so cool. Yeah. If you had one thing to say to someone that was interviewing, what would it be? You can build your interview the way you can build a house, and you just have to build it the way you want to build it. Everybody is different. Everybody has different styles. So you just have to build your house, your foundation, the way you want it, the way it'll suit you. So it was very nice meeting all of you guys, and the best advice I can give you is just follow the constellations of your hearts and minds, and you guys will be just fine. Woo! All right. All right. Thanks. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah.